do this thing. Wow, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you tell me. All right, so we just now are going live. Hey, it's Trisha with Paint and Chat with Trisha. And I have very special guests, but I'm not even going to introduce my guest yet. I am going to, first of all, um, share a little bit. I'll turn on some music and give us a moment to get this going on all of our pages. And then we will do introductions. We're going to make a margarita. Okay, look at mine. Okay. Well, I, I haven't shared it on my page, so let me share it on my page first. Let's see, and it takes a second for it to get loaded. I don't know how Michael's on there like instantly. <laughs> well, it's Amazing. nice. Amazing. <laughs> Is he upstairs? No, he's not. <laughs> He's not here. He's not even here. He's at, um, he always goes and hides at Rafferty's. Oh, good for him. He's like, I'll be at Rafferty's. If you need me. Call this me when it's over. This is so funny because I literally have people already watching and I don't see it. Here we go. Here we go. Y'all, this, you know, this is my, like, biggest challenge. No, that's the old one. Where am I? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Reload. Is there a, there's the camera right there. Yeah. So we, we definitely are, here it'll pop up. Bam! Hi, there we uh, are. <laughs> okay, so now. <laughs> so now it? what I have to do next is just, I have to share it. Um, first to my page and I have to be sure and share okay that's out of touches by Trisha so let me go back and change this to Trisha share share on public all yes. right that should do it so y'all should be able to see it just any moment on my timeline <laughs> I'm Colleen and Angela and Michael, mm -hmm. my biggest fans. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to share it on another live party page. Do, 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 do. And then we can get get things rocking. Megan, are you fine? I'm not that? seeing it. I so um, I don't know what is going on on my side, but it's I'm not seeing it either. Not <laughs> so we're. What's so, I keep telling everybody, I'm like, I just need a um, a tech management is what I need. Yeah. This, this part drives me crazy. Are we live right now? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey everybody. <laughs> we can, we're live. Um, wow. All right. And it's cool. Everybody knows that it takes a second. To get it. Let's see, that's on my time that should come on my timeline now. Here I'll try reloading the Trisha and see what's up. Um, hi, let's see, that's just now about an eBay store. That's what I have. Oh, there we go. I see us. Did you find I us? I did. I did. Yay. <laughs> now, I'm going to hit share. Share now. I just shared it to Miss Jeannie's. Let me share it And I, I don't know where it went, but I hit share. So now it's, <laughs> it's being shared It's somewhere. being shared somewhere, so I don't know where it went, but there you go. Okay, I got it. There we go, parties. And one more, and then there we go. Boom. All right, yay! Okay, you guys, sorry for all that like techie stuff. Um, I'm very excited tonight. Um, I dread November 19th of this year. I just was like, are you kidding me? I just started this amazing new paint party and it's falling on the anniversary of Emily's passing. 
And that just like, it makes my heart stop. Like when these things happen, I just, I either want to just like freeze and just crawl in my bed and hide, or I want to do something purposeful. So purposeful tonight is having Terry with me. Thank you for being here, Terry and Megan. Thank you so much. Cool. Appreciate it. So Terry and I um, work for Kristen Winston together. That's the high-end caterer that um, she serves and I bartend. And then we've just met Megan a couple of times. Yeah. And we both were honor. just like, yeah. we love Megan Berry. She's yes. just so warm and so sweet. Mm -hmm. And um, I literally, I told you the other day, I was like, I have thought so many times about just reaching out to you personally. And I was just going to tell you that I like you and that I was sorry about oh, Max. Thank you. And now you're in my house. I love it. I love it. I love how <laughs> things just work. It I love how things work. And, and I could just, you know what, I said yes to you because I can just feel your love and, and compassion and your energy through your message to me. Thank so you it was so really much. easy to say yes. Thank so, you so thank much. you for asking. I, oh my God, that touches my heart. Mm -hmm. Deep breath. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some margaritas. Okay, so um, this is terrifying me just a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna tell just you. Just looking at paint. I don't know where you are on this, but this is kind of scary for me. I can't that paint. makes me so happy. I can't paint stick figures. Me neither. So, um, so uh, I saw what you were posting, like that we were gonna paint sea turtles. I'm like, oh, that's oh yeah, that's really not gonna nice happen. Sea turtle but, too. Yeah. but I'm, I'm willing. Yeah, I promise willing. you, that's my favorite. Like I would rather have someone come at me and just go, I can't draw, I can't paint, you're crazy. That makes me happier than um, if you were like, oh yeah, you didn't know that my sideline is that I paint. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Self That's what I do. All, my yeah, uh -huh. all right, let me make some margaritas real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to salt my rim. Megan, would you like your rim salted, darling? I would, darling? please. Thank all you. Right, then. I usually salt three-fourths of the rim. Um, just because you know how salt gets on your makeup and your lips, so <laughs> I usually do that. So I just rub the line across and then dip it in a little salt. And you gotta do that first. The next thing we're gonna do is add some ice. I like to shake margaritas in my um, shaker, but tonight I'm just going to stir them. Well, it's live in a piece of ice. Right, right, that's the same. Did you have to eat ice? Because my dog's going to be all over it. <laughs> Don't. Mind. I'll get it. Here, we just I drop it back in here. Back in the face. <laughs> oh, my God. She... <laughs> Good. There you go. Now, Success. Uh, no, I love you. She just chunked a piece of ice from the dining room table all the way into the sink. And that it made that it. Was, Even that better. was amazing. Yeah. So all what right. have we done here? All right. I was introduced to Altos Tequila by our favorite bartender right here on the corner. I was like, I don't want to pay for the Don Julio every time. So this is yeah. a really good, like, eh, Close to thirty dollars a bottle. So, so we're do. painting turtles and drinking tequila. That's right, and I'll well. tell you why. Because <laughs> Life takes. <a> <laughs> <turn. Hey. laughs> This is scaring me. I'm not even sure what this is doing to me. But so it's, it's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Mm, okay. It's all good. Next, I'm just going to set these here because I'm really excited to use this. You guys, look at this juicer. I don't take this to my bars, of you course. <laughs> I own a pit to my mother who um, had this probably since 1922. Um, she used this wow. juice squeezer. And so one time, Melanie, who was my daughter's very best friend, we were in Denver. Where Max was in Denver, yeah. my boys are both in Denver, Aww. and um, so I saw one of these at a retail shop, or like a what do you call them? Like a yeah. antique thing. Yes, or yeah. and I was like, oh, I want that. Ona had one. I love that juicer. It is the best, but this would <laughs> this would make your suitcase weigh mm -hmm. about oh my goodness. pounds. Yeah, no lie. Very heavy. Anyway, okay, I've got it backward to do it. I'm gonna have to juice backward. But anyway, um. After my sister cleaned out my mom's house, she literally was like, oh, I saved something for you since you love to do bar stuff. 
and it was the juicer. Oh my so gosh. Oh, so I awesome. almost bought one in Denver and shipped it back to myself. And um, instead, here I have Ona's. So I'm just going to squeeze one and a half limes into just a little bit of water. Because you know what? The real juice is so much better than using that mm -hmm. oh, gosh, yeah. stuff. But it does take a little time. Oh, I mean, you don't have right. labor intensive. Right. I could do this, Megan. Well, sure. <laughs> I can help you if but, you like. <laughs> but then we wouldn't get to use all right, this juicer. Right, then you wouldn't be able to do the juicer. All right, there we go. And we're going to add just a little bit of sugar to all of this yummy juice. Boop, just a little bit. Going to stir that up. Eat, eat, eat. So now I have made my own sweet and sour juice. Lemon lime, a little bit of water, and a little bit of sugar. So that goes into our margarita tequila. Yummy. Wow, that looks amazing. We're going to top with some triple sec. And I can tell you, honestly, I don't know one thing in the world about this brand, Cocktail Artist. You know why I bought it? Because it was a Walmart. And sometimes that's a good reason. Mm. Let me give it a little taste. I'm not sure I can do that one again, so I'm going to put it back in. There go. Oh, mm. So good. So tasty. Mm. Did I stir yours? Um, you did. So There we go. Now okay. I did. All right, I'm going to make all this go away. Presto Magic Changeo, and we are going to talk about sea turtles while we're painting them. And we're going to get started. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. So, so tell me the things on the table. Do they have some meaning for you? So I see like these little pots. That one of them's for you, and I got them for you. You did. <laughs> that was Terry. so sweet. Oh, it's Terry, so thank you so much. Oh, man, I forgot so to so make your mocktail, Terry. Don't worry about my mocktail. Oh. I have my Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey, I know. I'm drinking Terry a lot of water. Terry is doing this. Is no fun. sugar, no alcohol. Mm -hmm. She's going to get lean and skinny on us. Good for you. Well, so. I've been trying for about 20 years. So. <laughs> I'm about to give up is what I'm about to do. Holy oh, cow. What do we it? got here? Okay, so, all right, here we go. Um, the night that I was found out about Emily, I was just home, and she was coming home for her very, very first, um, her first Thanksgiving from since she went to school. She homeschooled and graduated a year early, and so she was like. I could go to college, I could work, I could stay home, and she decided to um, to go to Indiana where her bio dad was. She didn't know him real well, and it was just an opportunity opportunity for her to go for her first semester free, mm -hmm. and I was all for it, and she was, he was, but on her way home, she called and texted me, and we had been planning to do fajitas and margaritas, even though she was underage. But she's gonna be in my house under my care. So, um, and a couple of her friends were coming over. And so, I'm drinking margaritas for Emily tonight. And then the sea turtles, I don't really know why, but the few times that I've swam with sea turtles, I have had the most, like, spiritual, like, connective feeling. And I'm really hoping that, um, I hope that reincarnation is a thing and that either I was a sea turtle or I'll be a sea turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so way. here's to sea turtles, to everybody. Sea turtles. Cheers. Yay. Cheers. Oh, cheers Bam. to sea turtles. Now, y'all don't forget to let's say hi to um, everybody that's checking us out right now. Okay, my daughter-in-law, Laura, uh -huh. Larson, and Laura, and Callahan hi, is there. Said that you were an art teacher. So, <laughs> did you teach painting, or 
I, I taught homeschool art classes, and the reason was, um, I started homeschooling because my kids were all in acting, and we were missing a bunch of school, and um, Josh, my oldest son, had this weird thing where um, his feet were getting really sore when he was playing sports, mm -hmm. and so he had to have surgery, and so we just timed it so that his surgery recovery included Christmas and then two weeks afterwards. And so oh, they, nice. the, the public school sent a homebound teacher. Sure. Well, after that period of time, he went back to school. He was in eighth grade and he got really depressed and he just said, I hate school, we waste time, it's not fun. I want Miss Bobby, the homebound teacher, to come back. Right. And I was like, oh, no, 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 that, you gotta go to school. But then during the summer, he got so into golf, he was like, please homeschool me. And I was like, you're batshit crazy, no. And he talked me into it. And then my other two kids were like, we want to stay home too. And so we started homeschooling. And then we started connecting with other homeschool groups. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then they would see like the projects we were doing. And they're like, who's teaching your kids to paint like that or to make those projects or whatever. Or I saw Emily's art or something. And I would just be like me because I just love it. My mom was real artistic. Oh, nice. That's where it came from. So I homeschooled myself in art. Got it. And okay. I learned a bunch about art history. I'm an art history just buff. But okay. I never took it in college. I never okay. so this, officially. It's just a passion. Mm -hmm. It's just a passion. And obviously, you have some, uh, not just passion, but also talent. A little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So I printed okay, pictures so we just, for my students. Hey Laura, hey Kimberly, y'all I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm like too busy talking to keep up with um, all the social stuff, but I'll read everybody's comments afterwards. Okay, this is the picture that I sent to right. Terry and um, to Megan, and so here I've got a copy for you just to kind of stick under your painting and you can refer back to it. Do you have some tape? Because I feel like you can take it off. <laughs> I can totally call it a day. And I could just paint a little. Maybe Barry's trying to cheat <laughs> already. Not cheat. Just not trying to <laughs> just know my limitations. So but keep going. I also printed, um, well I printed that one for a very specific reason. I loved some of the foliage in this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah it's, oh, that's really pretty too. I mean, yeah. they're really gorgeous. The pictures Here's are that. gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. So we're just going to have, you know, because we're going to take inspiration from these pictures. Okay, we're going to be inspired. Oh, and my Holy Moly t-shirt was Emily's. Aww, so I just felt cute. like I should wear one of her. She had some really weird t-shirts. Some of them were pretty kind of inappropriate but funny. Hi, Brian. Good evening. Blessings to you, Megan, and everyone. What about Trisha and Terry? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, how old was Emily when she passed? Emily was 17. Okay, it was 12 years ago today. It so was, right? yeah. And listen, how long has it been since Max passed? Oh, God, passed? it's been two and, almost two and a bit years. And so. No, it'll be two next month, two yeah. years next two years. month. Yeah. So, y'all were really, that was close yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. Was, and, um, when I was at the two weeks period, when I was at the two years period, when I was at the five years period, I would say over and over, I can't wait till I can say it's been 10 years. And for some reason, I thought that that would just make it easier on the people that were receiving the conversation or make it easier for people to ask me about it. Sure. Or that I wouldn't feel so intensely about it. And it, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it doesn't matter. Two weeks, two years, like for me right now, like this morning, I cried like the officer just came to my door and knocked on the door. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it just, I just, uh, some, some sweet sir person sent me a song and it was so very touching that it just, um, thank you, Natalie, for that. I will listen to it repeatedly, but it's hard because it was just like, I'm going to paint by the ocean and you're not there. Ah, oh. oh, it was so hard. But, um. And, and Terry, tell me your child's name. Andrew. Andrew, right. right. That's right. Yeah. And he was 26. Just babies. Just babies. Was he no. here too? Was he no, he was in he? Florida. He was in West Palm Beach. He'd gone there for, um, halfway house. Yeah. I've seen his picture. Yeah. Yeah. 
I printed this one because of the whimsical patterns on its shell. Yeah, that's really pretty. And the funky colors. Yeah. Because if Emily painted a sea turtle, she would be painting peace signs she would be and doing something funky. stuff like that on its shell. Thank you, Rosa. That's so sweet. She said she has tears for all of us and Aww. hugs, hugs, hugs. Love you, Rosa. Thank you. All right. So when we start painting, the very first thing that we're going to do is start with whatever is furthest away, which in this case is going to be the water. Okay. And so we're going to start in the top right hand corner and you can see that the sun is kind of peeking through. So I'm going to go okay. put a big blob of white on your palette and these fancy palettes are um, styrofoam plates. Mm -hmm. Megan, I think you put your picture oh, sorry. on top yep. of yours. Oh, sorry. Yep, I got it. Okay. okay. So. Get your brush just a tiny bit wet. Go ahead and each pull a piece of paper towel off for you. We're getting so much love. Thank you, sir. Oh, Beth sure said that you pretty. were, she said, Megan has a twin on the left. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, what a compliment. What's this? Angela, this is I love Emily so much. She was the light oh. in this dark world. Oh, Y'all, try not to make me cry. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of this dark blue, and there's one right beside your plate. Just okay. a little blob. Now, is that right next to the white? Yeah, oh, okay. I might leave a little space. Okay. Let's see, Terry, do you have your wide brush? I have my, I have yes. my wide brush. And then I'm just going to start up here in this corner painting some light blue and some white poking I'm through. Sorry, yeah. And I'm going to just use little dabby strokes so that get some of both colors on your brush, mostly white starting out with. Okay. And you're just going to literally just, um, the water's moving and it's not going any one certain direction. So you want to do nice, short, little blobby strokes. I always say the word blob. Um, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate that. Hey, Josh Risley, my son, is watching. Hey, Josh. Hi, Josh. Oh, hey. That's a nice, <laughs> nice thing. Yes. Those, uh, my boys are. My now, how old are your boys? <sighs> Josh and I just had this conversation because he was born on the 12th of November. And I was 20 on the day he was born. Mm -hmm. But then I turned 21 four days later. So I always get so confused about that. Uh, so I'm 20, he's, he's 20 years younger than me. That makes him 30. He just turned 36. 36. Because I was like, I always want to say, well, I'm 57 today. So that makes him 37. But he wasn't born one years old. He wasn't. <laughs> He was four zero. So that <laughs> said, he lives out in Colorado. And yeah, they live in Denver, and um, Megan were listening to his music. Oh, nice! So oh, what a treat! So he, we, does yeah, he play he out has, in Denver? Is he in a he, band? Or? He was. Um, he was singing with a wedding band, but now he writes. Oh, great! Music all the time, and he has. Um, Spotify and YouTube channel and oh, nice. all that stuff and he's so a um, talented and, and, and is he quite an artist as well so could he paint um, a sea turtle? You know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm a sea turtle. Did he do my sea turtle? Yeah. I'll Joshua 110% uh, was my most reluctant artist um, and he keep on painting babe okay hi <laughs> Melody hi Rivonda um, but Josh just that his thing was music more than right. Is that what he decided? But Dustin, the younger one of my boys, he is an amazing artist and he does really more abstract and wild stuff than me. Oh, I'm, that's fun. I'm a little more conservative with my art. I'm thinking this is going to be more of an impressionist. Painting. Hey, do, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to just knock out the, the, the background. And, and call it a day. Is, no, no. Hush, 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 hush. All right, let me ask y'all questions I don't know about each of you. Terry, where were you born and raised? I don't know that. New Orleans. Nolans. Oh, oh, what? what? And what brought you to Nashville? Oh, my husband, uh, his job, we kind of moved in a northerly track. We went from New Orleans to Baton Rouge to, um, we say we did time in Jackson, Mississippi. And, um, <laughs> Why do you say that? And what, you didn't like it? It was, it was very limited. <laughs> it was very limited and gotcha. limiting. 
But, um, and then we ended up coming here and we, 16, 17 years ago. Oh, wow. And Andrew, where was Andrew born? He was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And he, is he your only? No, I have an older son who lives here and he's married and he has two wonderful little boys. And, they're so um, cute. Aww, his wife's so name cute. is Laura and, um, and they're getting a sea turtle for Christmas. They're getting, they're <laughs> painting, I think they're painting their own sea turtle. How's it going, guys? You got your sea turtle done? I love it. I love it. <laughs> They'll be laughing at me. Aww. But, yeah, and then I have a daughter who lives here. After Andrew died, she moved back from Alabama where she was at Auburn, and she's a nurse. Oh, nice. Yeah, so... You know, I'm it's one you thing a tiny that... tiny dot of black, and I'll tell you what in a second. Okay. It's one of those things that once you lose a child, your family, the rest of your family becomes even more important. Sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, Liz and Emily brought my sister and I back together. We were, I don't want to say 110% estranged, but we had just had some falling outs. And I had kind of just kind of cut her off in a nice way, just like, I love you. I know one day we'll work this out, but in the meantime, you on my nerves, leave me alone, go away, kind of. And we just agreed to be like um, patient and kind with each other, but just sort of like, just don't, 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 don't be mixed up with me right now. And, and was she living here or was she? No, she was in South Carolina and, and I was here in Nashville. And um, I think at that time she had we were just in such different places. I sure. mean, it's it's hard to define, but it was kind of during the time that our kids were teenagers, and our views about raising kids were vastly different. And we just she was she kind of judged me for some things. I judged her for some things. It was really both of both of our faults. But but y'all found your way back to each other. But boy, so after bad. losing Emily, and then um, yeah, that that did it. That just it was like okay, all this other stuff is so stupid. And that is another thing. Like I sometimes feel myself being I don't want to say mean, but like sh short. I, don't, I won't have a lot of patience yeah. with people complaining yeah. about stupid shit. Yeah. Just yeah. stuff that exactly. you're just sitting there going, okay, I get it. I understand that you're upset about that. Like, that makes sense. But hello. <laughs> like, it's it's not a big deal. You know, like, quit when your, you... Quit your whining. Yeah, you lose a child all of a sudden. Oh, oh, now I know what a big deal is. Now I know what being upset really is about. Yeah, but I also think, you know, the, the one thing that with, with that is because you don't want somebody to have to go through that and then to have that perspective. So when they are actually upset about things that don't upset me anymore, I still have a lot of compassion, compassion for them because what I don't want is for them to ever have to go through what we've gone through. And now you're working with Chris, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing some work for uh, Journal Communications, which... Uh, and Chris also works with you all. Yeah, we love uh, him. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't even know yep. you were talking about. Yeah, I, yep, I do a little work with those guys. In fact, I cruise right now. Yes, I went and went down the hall <laughs> after you had reached out to me, and I said, Chris, give me kind Tell of me give, give me the scuttlebutt on Trisha, on Trisha. <laughs> and he's like, oh gosh, she'll love her. And so Aww. he just had the most wonderful, nicest things to say about you. That is so, very sweet. Well, sweet. I had told you I was like, if you you know if you if you, you don't remember yeah, you exactly should ask. just. Call Kristen uh, or John. Yeah, totally. They'll let you know that. Okay, so what's the black for? Because I've done some. Okay, I've I just blue, really liked how down low. Oh, so they didn't it make it more a little really black. dark. Okay. So just mix a tiny bit of black in with your blue. Here Got you it. might. I might, you might need a little bit more blue. blue. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be black. No, but it just like makes it. you a nice darker blue. Got it. And so um, you're going to town, Megan. Man. Well, you know. know. She's like, I'm gonna get mm. this. Get her done. Yeah, you, She's just this, excited. This, I, I feel like turtle. this is the easy part. Yeah. Part. Yeah. I, just yeah. get to the this, I don't know. No, this I'm is the part it. that I think is going to be like, okay, I can handle this. And look around your canvas and make sure that you don't see any canvas peeking through. And if it is, paint some more paint over it. I am so sorry for all the people commenting, and I love you, and I thank you. For some reason, my feet, I have to look up here and see. Well, 
She hi, must Jackie. need painting. Hi, Jackie. Hi, <laughs> so we can know what to do. <laughs> I, will, I will come back tomorrow and do like a, um, there's another cool thing I discovered. It's called live watch party or a watch party. Oh, really? So there's all kinds of things. Huh? Cool, cool. All right, so put a little black and like make it a little darker down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yep. And then, um, yeah. So my mom, she was she was very like crafty when I was growing up, and I just did not get that crafty gene. She she was a painter. I mean, she did all the the toll painting and oh, sewing wow. and crafts. Wow. And, and I got um, maybe a C in sewing. <laughs> Maybe. So well, Maybe. that was wonderful that you that, even had that, that option to take Oh yeah, sewing. we had sewing. We had home ec. You, we had home ec, and you had to learn how to boil an egg, and you had to learn how to sew. And I, weren't you I girl? Can't I can't remember if I had home ec. I, I feel like I'm more about the same did. age. I, 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 know, I would have thought. I, maybe I just have. didn't take it. I think I took printing and photography instead of no, home we ec. We didn't have that. You, <laughs> and you had to take home ec. It wasn't a choice. It right. shouldn't be now. Kids should have to so, take it and they should have to take like finance. They should have to yeah, learn how to We all had to learn how to build, you know, do a checkbook and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's funny because my grandmother was, a, she graduated from college back, gosh, in the, what, the 30s. And she had. Your mom's no, mom? No, yeah, my mom's mom. And she had a degree in home ec. And she worked for the gas company wow. and she would go and teach new brides how to cook on their gas stove uh, uh, and when she got engaged the gas company came to her and said i'm sorry you can't work for us anymore because Terry, you can't not work at all. when you're sorry, married sorry. you can't so, work when you're married no you can't work when you're married what? I know. Isn't that funny how times have changed? So that's not that long do? ago. Did she quit working? She did. Oh, she had to. Oh. Yeah, she, she, my grandpa, oh. they had businesses and she helped him run his businesses. But I mean, can you imagine going to college no. and then having some company say, sorry, you just got no. engaged. You can't work so for us anymore. No, more. no oh, I, I can't know. imagine at no. all. Okay, so this is fun. I could just paint C all night. Yeah, well, right. let's just do that. I think I'm pretty good at C. I got the C down. Oh, I just said that and then I got a lot of <laughs> So. Okay, I feel like mine look like too much cloud, so I'm kind of just pulling the colors together a little bit. Okay, see what I'm going Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like your C. I like my C, and I like my C. You like your C, I like my C. I like my C. So now I should take off this paint off my brush, is that? Yes, and okay. um, if your water gets too gross, you know, we'll just... Send over there to just say, she knows where it is. We'll just throw some tequila. The one that you with the ice cube. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so far so much fun. I'm, this is good, fun. Good. It's, it's therapeutic. It is therapeutic. It is very I can see why. They have people paint. It is very good for you. Need a little relaxation. Oh, Megan, you have fabulous hair. <laughs> Why, thank you. you. That's awesome. I'll take that compliment any day. <laughs> Says Beth Brazil. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Mine looks a little. Thanks, um, Beth. <laughs> mine is like in between short and long, and it start. It looks a little dippity do. I like it. I think I like the movement. Thanks nice. so much. Thank you so much. It's really oh, to say. So, yeah, I love my rose little bush. Thank you. This oh, is so pretty. So Trader Joe's. Yeah. All right, Megan, so if nice. you're happy, I'm with happy. Your ocean, and well, here's what I want you to do. Okay. Well, I want you to take your. I want you to just kind of dry, kinda dry it ocean. off. All right. Dry your ocean, please. Here. I hope I'll have to show my ocean. See you might want to pull your. Um, here's my ocean. I'm gonna try to do whatever she tells me to do next, which is like pull it, <laughs> it so it doesn't great. look like clouds. All right, let's all do good. that. Oh, I see a little canvas here. Oh, okay. She's got like. Okay, I'm just now just gonna make pull some of it through, like you said, make it look less clouds. And it does dry. Through. It does drop fast. It and that's, dry. That is, we could not do this in two hours with foil paints. <laughs> could, wouldn't that's happen. Right. Okay. Okay, so now. I love you, Tracy, Tracy Burton. That's nice. We grew up together. Did you? Yeah, I, I mean, I always so what, so what, when did you start doing this? And what was the. When I was a little girl, my mother was the seamstress, crafty guru of the world. 
And she was able to stay home. She yeah. did not ever have a job. She stayed home full time with six kids. And she cooked and sewed all the time. To the point that I kind of like, I just, ah, I did sew a few things and I'm thankful for what I learned. But I kind of, um, I really didn't develop my sewing skills at all because I got tired of the sewing. And I can remember going to um, Roses back in the day when it used to be the Walmart of the world and um, begging her to just buy a dress. Uh, Can I just right. please no, buy this dress? dress I just want to buy this dress, Mom. May. And she would be like, okay, fine. Because well, we had money. My dad was very, um, he made a lot of money. And um, she would be like, okay, okay, pick one out. <laughs> she would start looking at it. She'd go, I can make this. This is so cheap. This is so tacky. Be like, Mom, but you won't just, have to. Right. You can just pay $9.95 for it and <laughs> no, we'll take it home today. She like, I can make this in an hour. And she would. And she could. We'd go home and she'd make it. Wow. But I wanted to just buy a dress at Roses. I'm going to um, get us clean right. water. Terry, you have not dirtied your water. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm already sorry. dirtying my hands. Paper sure. Paper. sure. I've dirtied my hands. hands. I've done. Here, I can do it for you if you want. It makes sense. So I used to have that illusion of saying, oh, that looks really easy. I could do that. I could make that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. as you get older, you Oh, my know. gosh. I know. Uh -oh. The best was when I, I, there was, Max would not sleep through the night because their light would come in his room. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I'll make out, I'll make these blackout shades. And how hard can that be to make a shade? Yeah. And my other sister made him, and she's like, oh, it's really easy. You can totally do it. And... So, as I'm crying downstairs trying to make these things, and we're tacking, you know, basically blankets up to the walls, because my husband's like, um, I guess you don't know how to do a blanket. <laughs> I'm like, I think I don't. So, that was the last time I was under any illusion that I could look at something and go, oh, I totally can make this. So, I'm always impressed with yeah. people who can take something apart and then recreate yeah. it, make it. I always say I I miss the Martha Stewart gene. I didn't get it. <laughs> and now well, you, because you, well, but you all work for Kristen Winston. She puts on beautiful yeah. events, and I'm sure that you all have a hand in that because you are part of that whole. Not so much. <laughs> we <laughs> might just do our job. Well, there you go. You know, but you know, I remember. Um, I think the first time I saw you. Was at the um, a crop at the crop was always called the crop. The yeah. the uh, Parthenon. Yeah, the Parthenon. Yeah. Or maybe it, yeah, it was at the Parthenon. It was right after Max had died, wasn't it? Yes, and it was in the fall. Was it right? Was it the like the best of Nashville? Or 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 it might have been the the, the Parthenon, the the friends of the Parthenon. Yes. That's what it was. Because you guys had that. It was right down in the tent and yeah yeah. yeah. And I went up that. to you and and. After you spoke and said, "I'm so sorry about Max," and um, and we both kind of got teary-eyed, and I said, "I have a son who's a, a, an addict. He's got a substance abuse problem." And you said, "What's his name? I'll pray for him." And I just thought, in the midst of your pain, you could still Aww, think about someone so else. Sweet. Really, wow. yeah. And then, and, and then it was at the library, I think that. Um, after Andrew had passed, that I just saw you, I and you came. Picture. You came. Yeah. And and you had sent me Andrew's picture. Yeah. And I, because I still have it in my my deck, and I show Aww. his picture uh, when I talk about what the faces of this epidemic look like, because I think it's really important it for is. people to see the faces. So, so what kind of work Andrew's are you doing with that now? I might go out and talk to anybody that wants me to talk. So if there's anybody out there listening that you want me to come and talk about any of this stuff, uh, how this impacts families, how we can get our arms around this, some pretty concrete things you can do today uh, to help, I do that. And, uh, and and I'll just say, like I like my purse is in the other room, but I carry Nar Narcan with me. Yeah, I have me it too, I'm purse. in the back seat That's of my car. So awesome. I have it in my purse all at all the time, all the time. Wow. And, and, I, and I, it, you can get it here in Tennessee without a prescription. Uh, it's, I did not know that. It is that not, is so valuable to it's know. It's not inexpensive, no but there are a lot of times now that you can go get it and they will give it to you for free. Yeah. Uh, you don't need a prescription. 
Uh, most CVS, those, those folks carry it. Um, and just have it with you. You never know. Yeah, we never I, and know. you know, I had somebody the other day that said, "Oh, that's ridiculous. Why would, why would you give somebody Narcan?" And I, you know, and you could tell that they were judging. Mm -hmm. And what I said was, "Well, you know, when you're walking down the airport and there's that defibrillator, if yeah. somebody started having a heart attack in front of you, you'd be ripping that thing off the yeah. wall and like." And you wouldn't be judging if they'd had too many right. cheeseburgers. No, of course right. not. You might not know how to use it. it right. Yeah. And so yeah. I said, you know, you just, like, it's, you it can't help somebody. It should just be a part of everybody's yes. first aid kit. That's right. Now. You should, you can't help somebody if they're dead. Yeah. And so, and we, we recognize that with other diseases, uh, with people who have heart attacks, diabetes. I mean, we, we do that. And my whole, my whole goal is to help people understand that addiction is a disease. Yeah. yeah. And we have to start talking about it like that. Have to get this, remove the stigma. It, absolutely, um, the shame, the guilt, the, the conversation. I mean, I don't know about you, but like we didn't talk about this. I mean, one of the things that I want people to do is to know that other people have gone through what they've gone through. They're right. not alone. Right. And and I think we're so I, afraid. You don't, um, know that my um, my brother that I was so close to committed suicide, oh, um, a cocaine addiction. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, just very sensitive about all things addict. And sure. my fiance is uh, recovered, or recovering, however you put that. You know, he used to be very into um, pills. And so it's just so epidemic and it's so um, good to just connect with and talk with people about it and not have any kind of apprehension about it and I'm so glad because I, I mean you know, and let's take your fiance for example you know the, if we understood that addiction and drug use fundamentally alters your brain and then it means that for the rest of your life you're gonna have to have, manage this like manage this disease we would have looked at this more as a disease and not a oh check that box problem solved we, right. would, we would have been more aware that we needed to be more diligent and we weren't no. So, um, but again, until we start having conversations about the fact that, you know, he, your, your fiance is in recovery, well, he's just going to have to manage this for the rest of his life and he can live a yeah. long and productive and happy life. Uh, he's just has to manage it. Exactly. And just like you would if you had any other disease. Yeah. So, I'm going to give you some All right. So, okay, now I'm ready. Well, but me. I don't want to cut that conversation. No, no, we can keep talking, but I want to hear about so this. Valuable. Let's tell me what's next. The reason I print off the pictures of what we're going to be painting is twofold. Um, A, just because, hey, this is what our inspiration is for. But if you fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again, you'll automatically have yourself a little grid that'll show you if you really want to, you know, emulate this picture. Yay! Um, we rock, says Rosephine. <laughs> so it'll give you like, well, what is in the very middle of this picture? Where am I going to put this turtle, you know? So first, we're just going to paint the shapes. We're just going to take white paint with this semi-pointed wide brush. It's kind of a big brush. It has a pointy tip. And um, we're just going to paint what's in each corner. So the easiest, easiest one, it looks like, is this one because, look, it's just from the middle, straight up, about halfway, you're just gonna paint an arch all the way down, okay? okay. So we're just gonna draw, Show me. I wanna see that. we're just gonna kinda draw where the turtle's gonna go. So okay. here's here's about midway. Okay. So about middle, we're gonna go, oh, there's the back of the turtle shell. Oh, the back, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And the, I mean, you know, of course your turtle's not going to be white. We're just going to fill in the shape of where the turtle will go. Okay. So then just look at your grid and kind of follow the shape of the shell. Then it kind of goes down at an angle. And then it goes a little across. It comes over. And then his little head comes up. And, and this doesn't um, tie you into the exact shape that you're drawing. It's just kind of giving you an idea of like, this is where my turtle is going to go, even though we're not going to paint the turtle next. I just want you to know kind of 
kind of where your turtle is going to go. When um, uh, Michael has, um, before I met Michael, he had a massive heart attack oh, wow. um, a couple years before I met him even, and um, he just recently had to have a procedure called AFib. I'm right, um, sure. Yeah. So, um, but anytime, and, and because he had AFib multiple times, that just rocked our little world. He would have to go into the hospital and they would have to cardiovert him and it would oh take gosh, two or three awful. days and it just was so frustrating you know it just really was like sort of interfering in our life about once or twice a month i love you too michael <laughs> so how long have y'all been engaged five, well we've been engaged for a whole year now congratulations since christmas yeah oh you got engaged last christmas yes and so how did yes. he do it was it extra special <laughs> because we've been living together for probably four years now and we're just like old married people we're just so um happy and settled and relaxed nice, nice. and if i you know it, i will have to write a book one day to talk about my relationship past and just the crazy crazy stuff that i went through terry yes, with your little turtle shape i'm gonna say let's let's take this out all the way to about here. Okay. Let's let all of that be its shell. Okay. I want his shell to be a little longer. Yeah. And then his little foot will be back here. Oh, is that his That's foot? That's where his little foot's going to be, yeah. And then he has another little flipper that almost looks like a little chin. I don't want to like draw for him. And his, yeah, head might, his head might need to be a little bigger. Okay. So, um, I would say, let's just it's going to look weird, but we're just going to fill that in with white paint and leave it for now because we'll come back fill to it. Fill the whole thing with white fill paint? Fill the whole thing with white paint? Yeah, right. and the reason is because we want to kind of kill that blue. And don't worry if the blue fe uh, feeds through either. Okay. There is a method to my madness. I, I believe you. I believe. But every time that he gets any kind of pain meds, right. oh, gosh. He, li he literally is like comes home from the, you know, pharmacy and says here's what I've been prescribed here's how many here's how when I'm gonna take them put them wherever you want and I'll tell you when I need one you know what I mean like he sure. he does have that um, very very strict uh, I don't want to hear an ad but I can't help it because it's far fly well I think what you know you just hit on something that I also think is really important that people uh, don't realize or, or forget that so many folks start off with doctor prescriptions. In fact, that's how most yeah people get addicted uh, to opioids. Yeah. That's how Andrew did. Yep, and and they're and you know we've been raised our our whole lives to to do what doctors tell us to do. And so yeah. if a doctor is prescribing you an opioid, you're taking it. And I think we have come to, to find out that there are other ways to manage pain yes. um, that can be a lot better for people, especially people who might be prone to uh, be, be becoming addictive. And uh, and that's good. Again, it's all about talking and, and having these honest conversations, which I'm so glad we're doing. And awareness. Yes. And awareness, yeah. Like Andrew, I know he, he played lacrosse in high school and he yeah. hurt his back and he had a couple of concussions, like oh. three, which is another marker for Oh gosh, right, that's uh, true. Opioid abuse, and so he went to UT after he graduated and um, continued. You know, we didn't even know 
He, we thought he was the most accident-prone kid ever because he'd go to the emergency room in the hospital and get a prescription. He'd say he broke his toe, he'd get another prescription. Right. Go to different doctors every time. Of course, we That's didn't so put that like together. But, you know. Thank you. You're such a good student. Y'all are such good students. But that's how it started, Terry. Yeah. And I mean, that's an awareness that a lot of parents don't have. Right, 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 right. So how do y'all feel about, I know, I, I don't go into politics, but the big pharma thing and oh. all that and just... Well, I think as we become more and more, we learn more and more, I think you're just going to know more and more that there were so many red flags for these pharma companies about what was happening and they just didn't care they didn't. because they, they money, were, money, because money. they were making money and the Let doctors me show you didn't a care thing real quick um okay hold that thought yep so okay, next we're gonna start lower than halfway and we're just gonna paint in a big blob that is gonna be kind of our rock shelf Okay. So I would, you know, we'll we'll add some variation in color to it, but just kind of paint that shape in. And how? What white was white again? With um, I put some put brown some on there, some tan on there. Pay attention. Do we use the thick brush or the thin one? Um, honestly, you can use either one. You're just gonna get again. We're just gonna kind of put the shape in there, and we'll add detail to it later. This is a really hoot mustard color that's horrible. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, so you were just saying that um, it's just the money. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that, and you're starting, you're starting to see these companies being held accountable um, by government, municipalities, and then my hope is that the actual monies that are part of these settlements go to actually helping people yes. who have been impacted. Yes. That it doesn't end up going into the coffers of government that just it disappears you want that money to go toward treatment and toward uh, helping uh, all the families who've been impacted as well as the ones who are still struggling totally so okay so that's what we're doing i'm enjoying this good 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 that's the i whole agree with lot. you about the mustard yeah. color yeah i will cover it up matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and put some brown over it Mom, if you're watching, this could be your Christmas present. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where's your mom live? She lives in Kansas City. In fact, we just moved. We, my sisters and I spent the summer. I got three little sisters. Oh. You um, do? I do. They are the best. What's we have the, the most agent? fun. Like, what's... I'm the oldest. And then my youngest sister, there's 12 years difference between us. So three years to my next sister, then three years to the next sister, and then six years. So. 12 between all, um, my, my youngest sister That's Molly. like, uh, yeah. They're yeah, so like shout out to Heather, Kristen, and Molly. If you guys Hi, are watching. girls. And where they're they awesome. live. Wait, one I is, want you to come paint with me too. Yes, one's in Denver, my youngest. Um, is that why Max went out there? Um, no, he was just making his way back from college. He'd been in Washington okay. State and had friends out there. It's so pretty out there. It's so pretty. And then my, I have one sister in Montana, uh, Heather. Oh, wow. And then I have one sister in Chicago, Kristen. So... You have, we have like, great places your travels to are just already set. Yeah, so great places to, just, to vacay. So yeah, that's amazing. We just had a sister's weekend in Denver about three weeks ago where we Aww. all came together. Where'd you so stay? Nice. So we stayed with my sister. Um, she lives in uh, Denver, so we just all stayed there. It was what fun. part? Um, kind of like toward Lake, is it Lakeview or Aurora? Yeah, Josh lives in Lafayette, which is, okay. and then whenever um, he went out there, he went out there and started in the cannabis business okay. and sold all that, and that's why he's got the time and money now just to do his music. Oh, just, nice. That was his whole goal. I mean, bam. Right, it was to do so, that. Yeah. Now, I like the way your reef is looking. How are you doing that? Okay, so I just took some of the darker uh -huh. and just kind of... You know, almost like, oh, here's some rocks and here's some shelves, and we'll keep layering that. You want to might want to do that with your smaller brush. Okay. And then, how about you guys for the holidays? Anybody going anywhere? Do anything fun? I'm going to Denver. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. So my um, younger son, Dustin, he's only 18 months younger than Joshua. Okay. He, um, he and his fiance have been together, I think, almost exactly the same amount of time as me and Michael and myself. She has two little girls That's and fun. a son who just turned 13. Oh, how fun. And then Dustin has two little boys, um, so. Landon and Davin, and they're like 9 and 12. Oh, and nice. then Ellie and Bria. So I have five grandkids now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, actually... Christmas Eve, I'll be there, and I told Adriana today, I was like, I want to do paint and chat at your house with oh, all five kids. That will be a blast. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a great idea. Super excited about that. Yeah, super awesome. excited. Well, I have to tell you, that is my one thing as over with time and distance, because Max was our only son um, and our only child. And I I'm think, so sorry, and I think yeah. about that, and I think... That's just not ever something that we're gonna have. And, yeah. and, and, and I think, oh, you know, because I, I mean, not that Max at 22 was gonna have babies, you know. But eventually. But eventually I assumed he would grow up. Yeah. <laughs> but now it, that's something I always think, oh, yeah. you know, I wish there was still that, some connection. Yeah. It makes me sad. All right, my darling, what else are you putting in this? Black? Um, okay, where so are we going? So, look at this little, I'm kind of just doing, this just it looks like a bunch oh, of yeah, little okay, dots. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotcha, okay. See these? Yep. Mm -hmm. They're just like dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Absolutely magical. Sea turtles are magical. Magic are magic. is happening. Magic is happening. In my house at this moment. This looks like um, a baby turd right there. <laughs> Turtle? Did you say baby turtle? No, no she baby. said turd. <laughs> she said turd. Terry? Yes, ma'am. You know, just blob some more paint on there, sister. Just keep it going. Keep it going. So that was kind of the lesson I had last night. I was cooking, and I was cooking French. Extend it out a little. French Who are you cooking for? I was cooking for some friends, and we had a blast. And I will tell you that with that... I did learn that if you had made a mistake, just add more cream. Yeah, just, so it let just yeah, add yeah, more butter, paint. cream. Well, I'm not another whipped okay. cream, Megan. You yes. should start a Facebook Live cooking. Oh, show. Yeah, right. Oh, we want to come. <laughs> okay. Can we be your guests? Yes, of course. How <laughs> fun that would be. That would now be fun. I'm going to yeah. switch to a little green. I'm going to get some green going in here. Yeah. And listen, this is not finished. This is the background of the rocks. So, um, don't, it, it, it keeps going, keeps going. We're just, we're doing little, we're, we're just doing layering. Shapes. We're layering shapes right now, girls. I remember the one time I tried painting in college, I, I, <laughs> <don't spell> that. <laughs> I painted um, the sun and I got a canvas. Can, can, can you come into the frame with us? Okay. Nobody's going to believe that you were here. Well, <laughs> you, I'm, I'm are here you doing that on purpose, young kinda. lady? So, <laughs> kind of. So I painted the sun, and I did layers and layers of the sun. That sounds pretty. And bright yes. orange and yellow, and I brought it out to my roommates after about a month, and they were like, okay, let us see it. I bring it out, and they go, what is it? And then they go, I know what it is. It's a giant meatball. Oh, no. <laughs> I said, well. Okay, so you're, they were not being very nice. <laughs> well, they were they probably did look like a big meatball. That was so my idea. Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah. I, I kind of just put a couple of different green colors. And you don't have to use the same colors as me, but certainly. Oh, well, I'm using the same colors as you. you're thin and you're <laughs> And this one just kind of comes out a little bit more, almost like little leaves. Okay, same same brush that you've been using. Mm -hmm. okay. So is this still? Yeah, this is Picture Me Free Radio. You're listening, and nice. some of these songs are so old, he'll probably be like, Mom, but. The reason I, well, A, I play his music because he's my son and I'm proud of him, but it's free. I ha I would have to pay for, like, Oh, because you have this rights. on Facebook Live. Yeah, I would have to pay the rights oh, to music. I see. So, convenient that my son has all this awesome that music. Is good. Plus, 
I hope people it's, it's, yeah. hear it every week and like go, I want to listen to that because it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> She's got, uh, she has technique. Listen. I'm impressed with technique. I'll tell you the thing that um, makes uh, painting, when you're painting, I try to tell people all this all the time, is to try not to stir your paint together too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like get, layer those different shades of the same color and that add, that gives it depth. Let me show our guests what I'm talking about. Please do. I want to see. This is our background that we're working on right now. So. Okay. And then, wow, there's like a, almost like a really pretty gray color behind that. So those colors are already on my palette. I'll just do that. <laughs> Some of this. How's it going over there? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. You're, I, I you're doing my great. Colors. You're doing good. Just, you you're know, doing go great. For it. Like, just yeah. keep I just keep going. looking don't at her and going, okay, what the heck am I doing next? I don't know. I'm just trying to copy. <laughs> Me too. I thought we were going to trace this and then come <laughs> Oh, out. mercy. Paint by number is the only thing I could probably Talking about, girl. Paint by number? Now that would have had, I would have been alright with that. Okay. So I'd like to get involved with what you're doing, Megan. Sure, I would love that. Um, and I think one of the things that we need to have more of are people talking. And that's, and there's definitely some um, availability to do that. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, I sat with somebody the other day, we were at the National Overdose Awareness Day, and and part of that is you can walk up and say the name of your child who passed away, and I sat next to a, a woman, and she she just couldn't do it, and I said, I'll hold your hand, I'll pick you up there so you can say your daughter's name, and and at the end, she, she didn't, she didn't do it, she wasn't ready, but I asked her why, and she said, you know, because of my shame. And my guilt, oh. and and that just broke my heart because, like, even now, like in a room full of folks who have gone through exactly what she's gone through, she still that doesn't does feel that like there heart. is love and acceptance and grace, and That's and so and I true. want people to understand that there is like there's so much grace. And well, how was it for you being such a public figure having that happen? I mean, you had to that had to be pretty. We, well, you know, we made, my husband and I made a decision, Bruce and I said, you know, we know what, what Max died of. We don't have to wait for a toxicology report. We know he died of an overdose. And how long had y'all been dealing with that well, issue? No, Max had gone to rehab like the year before. And, and so he, had, he got addicted to Xanax because, again, he went to a doctor who prescribed him a drug and a drug that is highly addictive, especially to 21 year old boys. I mean, again, like, you know, I just don't give me going. But, um, but he had gone to rehab and he had been, went back and did his senior year in college and he graduated. And again, Bruce and I kind of did the, you know, problem solved, check that box. And if we had understood about addiction then, what we didn't know is we would have known that that year mark is so critical that. Yeah. So many kids who go through rehab and go up, come out. Is it think like it's they fine. feel like okay, I, beat I got this, this now? Sure, I beat this. Well, not only like that, but the insurance company quits paying for it after a Do really that. short oh, period of time. So, yeah. So, and, and so Max's thing, you know, he went back and he graduated, and he was all good. And I think the night that Max died, the amount of stuff he had in his system was not enough to kill him. On a, on a you know good night, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But because he'd been clean for a year, exactly, he was like, so I that can totally do this because of so many kids. Yeah, because so I don't. Crazy. I think he thought this isn't a problem. He didn't know. He didn't even understand. Yeah, that this was something yeah. he had to manage for the rest of his life. Because we weren't talking like that. So, so the night he died, oh. we knew he had overdosed, and we made a very just you know strategic decision after we were notified to say. We weren't. We didn't need to wait ten weeks. Yeah. 
we didn't need to say, you know, right. we want our privacy, please don't talk to us. Um, we decided no other families need to know how Max died because maybe that will give them That's so strength brave. And, so and, 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 and hope. But you guys know this. Holy Hannah, you are in so much pain. Yeah. Oh you don't even know what's coming at you. I mean, I didn't, I don't think I, until I left the mayor's office, I don't think I ever breathed like about my grief. Like I didn't deal with my grief until it's really weird. I, until I, I was in I another can't. place. I was trying to remember something about that first year. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. My, Michael and I were telling stories. Okay, what I'm going to do next is if you'll I'm see, um, there's black. just some shadowing, this, and it's really black, and it comes behind here, and then it, like, brushes out like it's little sea... What is that called? Uh, sea, weed, sea, uh, no. <laughs> sea something. Sea weed. Some sea foliage is like welling up out of. Um, I love a lot of people my age who have had Xanax. Uh. I know a lot of people my age who have had Xanax addictions after getting prescribed to yeah. them. Yep. It's very. Uh, it's just it's it's vicious. It's of so. Of that's one of the reasons um, Josh was such an advocate for cannabis. Because, yeah, because there are other ways that you can yes, deal yes. With, with anxiety and stress. And, and we were lied to as children. We were lied to, or at least I was. I was told it was a sin and it was um, a gateway drug and that, you oh, know. Like cannabis? Yes, yes. All this stuff that, you know, thank goodness I found out now that that is. Look, you guys. I'm literally, I'm just going to like, woo! Look at you. Stroke, like, stroke. Just. Just get that small brush, the just roll, roll it in your paint and, the okay. wipe, I did. And, and, and wipe it off on the side to get to a tip. And then it, the um, the way you can do tiny strokes is just by really lightly pulling it up. And there's no rhyme or reason. It just is like, woo, blowing. Show <laughs> Rose Omega, I'm so glad yes. you know the things now and can help educate Aww. others. Thank you so much for sharing Thanks. your story. Thank you. Y'all playing turtles? I'm gonna Listen. sit in the background and and just, and just cheer us on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I haven't seen you since yeah. Drunken Shakespeare. Huh? Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's yeah. called she's, that's she's Casper awesome. the turtle. How much time do y'all have left? I don't we're know. Out of time. We're not, You've we're got 50 so minutes, over. but I think tonight oh, y'all can extend <laughs> the time. Oh, we're not gonna meet. We're good. <laughs> We only have like, uh -oh, now I'm starting to feel pressure. 15 <laughs> minutes? 15? Yeah, we only have 15 minutes. Uh, no, 50. Oh, okay. We're, I was like, uh-oh, I thought we were right. You deserve about an extra 30 minutes. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I think what you're trying to say is she needs it. <laughs> but it's not. 
So how did you start this, doing this? What was oh, your inspiration? Okay. I think okay. she's asking this. This is a very Yes, I, I'm, I'm going to answer job. it this time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but let me point this out. Yeah. Then Megan just blob in a black yeah, shadow. Yeah, like that. And then pull in, look, I pulled some of the navy blue. Yeah, I love side. that. Okay, that's awesome. Let's and see. then I'm going to put, I'll also add some of these little white things, but um, I'm going to tell you this story. Okay. Okay, so I have a face, I uh, have an eBay toy store. Okay, I saw I that. sold okay. real estate for eight years, and then um, I broke my foot, and oh, then gosh. about... 18 months later, I broke it again, oh and it was gosh. bad, and I had to have surgery, and I was on one of those little old lady scooters. Oh, gosh. And um, I couldn't show houses. I couldn't do my dinner theater job. And so my son, the middle son, Dustin, was running a flea market at the time, and he was like, hey, sell some stuff on eBay. Right. And so, I mean, yeah, on eBay. And so I did, and I was like, Eureka, this is going to be my new job. And so I segued from real estate into eBay. And then, um, so um, I, always, I make YouTube videos. Okay. And how, oh, and then I noticed some friends of mine were doing these Facebook Live sales parties. Have you seen those where people are selling jewelry or earrings no, or? I have not. Um, I've seen some of these Facebook Live parties and I'm like, oh my goodness, am I, should I be doing that? I was like, but I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell anything. I just kind of want to like, do something fun, and I've been missing my doing my art. Sure, right, which is yeah, which is amazing. And I was like, what if I? And then, have you ever been to Sips and Strokes? Yes, 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 yes. yes okay. Yes, and okay. I was like, wonder if somebody does Sips and Strokes online. I couldn't find that anybody did, and I was like, I'm gonna start a paint party. <laughs> and I just awesome. started doing it. You that was did. it. So I just started doing it, which I love. Thank so how, and how long ago was that? This is only my fourth one. Oh, wow. But I feel really privileged. You are one of my guinea pigs. Well, awesome. That's even better. <laughs> Terry, how do you feel about that? I feel pretty good Good. About me too. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll let you, you know here. when I'm finished. Okay, so <laughs> right, I'll let you this know was done. week one. Wow. That okay, you, that's you awesome. You see our inspiration behind me. So that's what we painted week one. Okay. And then this, the chickadees were week two. Yeah, that's awesome. Do, 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 do. And then last week we did cactus. Nice. And then this week we're doing sea turtles. Okay. And they're going to be every bit as awesome. <sighs> okay, just making sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, I'm going to switch to, I'm going to do some red, some of those little red tubular things yeah, that are popping that, up yeah. out of there. Good job, Terry! That looks good! You guys think? Yeah, I do! <laughs> you're still out! You're not in the picture! You're not in the picture! That looks awesome! You're doing great! Alright, so yeah, now you've got red and... Okay, for oranges. These are just... Oh shit. Literally <laughs> like sticks and nothing just like spilled out. Everywhere though. Yeah, I just have a healthy dose of red. Okay, so you're just doing that. It looks, kind of yeah. Ma'am? They're they're just uh, they're literally just wide straight lines. You can add the details after you. Did you add that with the big brush? The bigger brush or the little It's one? the medium one. Okay, that one, that one. Either one. Is that orange and red? Mm-hmm. Did mm -hmm. you want to? I just think I should, yes. Thank you. So now you're taking the red and the orange. The red and the orange. And then okay. that weird thing. Wait, I'm going to switch to... Oh, this is like a tubey thing. I love this big piece of coral right here. I'm going to do that. And Which it, one? This, it looks so complicated, oh, yeah, it sure but does. it's really, look, it's just like psychedelic, like, it just kind of goes like. I'm kind of scared of it. Look. Oh my goodness, look at that. She <laughs> she made it look so <laughs> easy. <laughs> she made it look really easy. One, my, one looks like it's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, make sure, uh, make the tips kind of blunt because yeah. then we'll go back otherwise in it and looks like a fire. add that little dot in the middle to make it look tubular. Yeah, so. Tubular, man. Yeah. Okay. 
I like this thing, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one over here because I like it. Oh, one of those, another one. This yeah, is cool. and, and you don't have to worry about the shape of it, just like, Whoa. Whoa. yeah, okay. Okay. You can make that noise. That, I can do that noise. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the sound, the sound effects. Trisha, can you put your canvas up to the screen for a minute? Here we go. Oh, why are people painting at home too? Yeah. That's the whole idea. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's, gosh, that's so awesome. That is what I want to happen. That's okay, I well, want, that's like, pretty fun. That's awesome. I, every week I'm like, hey, this is what I'm going to be doing. Go get Got yourself it. an 11 by 14 canvas. We that's want to cool. paint some whatever. And um, I did not give you girls the option of what we were going to paint because. I wanted to paint sea turtles well, for Emily. You know what? That's what we're painting. So I'm totally happy that we're painting sea turtles. But, it makes me happy. Um, when you come back, I will absolutely be like, give you an option. <laughs> 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 I won't be, I won't be so demanding next time. Well, I think it's actually quite lovely that you just told us what to do. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm, not, just sure me what to I'm do. not sure I would have had an opinion. I think I would have had a meatball. Okay. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> but it would have had a lot of orange and red in there. Yeah, really. So. It would have been perfect. And then I just kind of am filling in with some pink here and there. Even even a little bit. I'm just, ooh, I just got paint all over myself. The, I am the messiest painter. That's why. Well, I'm laughing yeah, because. This table's okay being painted. Yeah, I know. Oh, my, that's, the, I'm the, isn't this paint The table, paper, I'm right? sorry. Yeah, it's been, yeah. This um, table is part of my child rearing history. Oh, like, that nice. Every single kid, there's paint stains, knife stains, scuffs, ink. <laughs> Um, I couldn't even, under. I mean, there's paint and glitter that Emily got on this table. Matter of fact, see these scratches right here? You know, see these uh -huh, scratches see in the wood? I didn't get mad about any of them, except I did get a little mad about those scratches. And um, what that was from, Emily and I were making candles. Uh -huh. And we had like a big 10 pound block of wax. Mm -hmm. And so you, I, oh, wow. I okay. would take it outside with a hammer and like a a wedge and pound, pound, you know, to break it wow. up. And I came walking into the kitchen and she had a butcher knife just going, oh, no. whack, 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 whack. Oh and my gosh. Look, look at this. Look. Look, look what she did to my oh, table. Oh, <laughs> good Lord. Well, you know what? Well, Isn't that I funny? Don't, don't you love it? Yeah. I've had people try to buy this table for me and I'm like, ah, no. I'm not going to happen. Those, those look so good. Oh yeah, sure. They really oh, look good. Do. Too, too look, we're all doing. Oh, look, oh I like gosh. the orange. Yours look amazing. I like yours. They turned out really well. So proud of you. I'll show totally give you all a little. Here's what um, Terry's got going on My so far. Like a lab, lab, I think it looks awesome. <laughs> 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 I'm sure. This is what Megan's Go got on, going yeah, on so sure. far. Mom, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you know, it's funny you should say that because one of the, one of the things I still love is Max, of course, had a growth chart, and, and oh, I'm, I'm sure y'all, yes. you know, the house that your kids grew up in, where you're notching them and you're drawing the line and you're saying the date of how tall they are. Yeah. And we're still in the house that Max grew up in, so <gasps> oh. every morning, and at first it was really painful and I couldn't do it, but yeah. but now it's a gift. Every morning when I'm pouring my coffee, I get to see his growth chart and I get to have a moment where I remember him and I just think about Max. And those things that were really like hard for the first so year that I couldn't do, yeah. gradually have become gifts and not 100%. Hate. And yeah. you know what? 12 years later, today, I was like, I wanna show some of Emily's artwork. And I pulled some out, yep. I don't even know where I put it. It's somewhere in here and I'm not gonna worry about it. But <laughs> as I was doing that, Pulling out some of her artwork, I, f I found this journal. 
And I've oh, moved okay. since then. Right. Like, I, we were in a big house down in Columbia, Tennessee for like 20 something years and every one of my kids had friends of theirs that moved in at certain times sure. because they were mad at their families or going through something and two divorces everybody left stuff in that house mm -hmm. and sure. um so when i decided to like get rid of everything and move here that was mm -hmm. a very traumatic time in my life and having to go through all of everybody's stuff especially in lee's as well but some of the things that i saved i mean i was just like oh that's a journal stuck it in there but i didn't really look at it and read it i spent probably an hour laying on the bed today reading Aww. like a journal that she had written and she told the story of acquiring her little terrier, Danny, her Aww. little dog. Aww. And I sat there, I was just like, this is awesome. It was because I tell that story all the time. It's like a great dog acquisition mm -hmm. story. We, the man that I was married to um, prior, blah, 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 whatever. He was uh, my Took second husband. Blah, 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 yeah, thank you for blah blah blah. I know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. My <laughs> second husband was he. Would, he spent more time with my kids than anybody else. The second husband, but he really, honestly, was the person that just messed me up the most. He was a kind of a mental verbal abuser, and it was harsh. It was hard. But there were good times, um, and there were a lot of bad times, and there was good times. Anyway, get to the point. Get to Emily. He wouldn't allow us to have a dog. He didn't want any animals in the house because they might pee or chew or do like something a dog would do. Well, huh. Right. Well, how how could I have married someone that wouldn't let a dog in the house? But anyway, um, so that was part of her story, just talking Aww. about that, you know, mom found me this dog on pet petfinder.org. I love that. And going That's out so there awesome. to get it. It was just so much fun reading it. And I did not even know it existed. So you well, look, how fun. You will you be find, finding well, stuff. I mean, you do. You find you know, that stuff. For, for and years to come, you'll just get these little gifts out of nowhere. And how about you, Terry? Have you had stuff like that that you've... Oh yeah, it With was Andrew. Like Andrew had this. He had this one really prized possession that he loved, which was his. They went to the state. They won the state championship in lacrosse. Oh wow! Okay, that's ring. really cool. They that had is this cool. ring, and it was a really pretty, expensive ring. And when he went to college, he couldn't find it, and he complained all the time and said, "I know Dad threw it away," or. You know, he'd never say, I lost it. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm looking for it. I've got to find it. And it would just drive him crazy. And he looked and looked everywhere. And after he died, he found it. we found it in, oh a, in a box God. with this college stuff. And it was like right in the middle. We were, we were like, how did he not see that? We well, must have put it there. Because well, you know what? What a gift that you all got to yeah. find it at later. So what about awesome. you? Have you had something? Well, similar? you know, I mean... Max was traveling pretty light because he just graduated from college. He just left all of his stuff. You know, I mean, there wasn't really stuff to have. But there was this one picture that he had of his dog, right, that I had. Um, right when he left to go to college, I had this picture of Hank, who's our dog. You know, it was painted, and it's just this little painting. And he had taken it with him, and it was one of his prized <laughs> possessions. Aww. And so I was so happy that we got that back. Yeah. Um, but, but... But Max didn't have, well, I say that, I was I was in the closet the other day, and I opened a drawer, and like, like there's all of his t-shirts. Yeah. I mean, they were, and they were all white, but they didn't have anything like, um, holy moly. Yeah, they didn't have any holy molies on. Um, they were mostly white. In fact, um, Max was known for just wearing a white t-shirt. But Did I, they still I, smell like him? They did, well, yes. I mean, actually, no, they, they don't. But what does still smell like him is his phone and have his phone wow. in, in its case and it doesn't work and I never had the password right. so I never but I've never parted with it yeah. and so I found it the other day I know that's going to sound weird but I smelled it and it still smells like oh, that yeah that just oh my gosh oh. yeah anyway yeah and I know and I know that that's going to fade I know it's like in 12 years I'm not going to you know be able to I, there won't it. be that smell there anymore it's weird because it'll oh. be in your head I think. I'm sure it will <laughs> it's such a connection yeah yeah. It is. Our sense of smell just t transports us to, to times and places and, and yeah. But that was the one thing I wish I still had, as I wish I did have something that was actually a piece of clothing that 
and yeah. have to pick up and smell. Yeah, but now, of course, now you're eating, where people put it in plastic bags and seal it, so that, you know. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. I mean, yeah, at I read this that, point, but it was too late. It's yeah. too late, yeah. I mean, it's. Greg's wearing most of Andrew's shirts because Andrew had this thing. He was like the most preppy kid ever. No, seriously. And he wore polo shirts and like. So he has all that stuff. Yeah, so he's wearing Andrew's polo shirts now. I think that's lovely. Yeah, I do too. That is really. Yours is so much better. Mine just looks like. That's the reason it's the Trisha show. Yes. I know, totally. Hers looks amazing. I'm looking at it. I'm like. My looks like my turtle took a threw up on the bottom of the <laughs> of the um, of the ocean. <laughs> I think it's looking quite good, Megan. Well, so I like I like yours. So the thing is, go. is we keep building. So okay, is that what the so, that yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So this this foliage stuff is not finished, but it kind of needs to settle and dry a little bit. So we can switch to our turtle. Oh, it's time for the turtle. Okay, turtle. I'm so excited. Let's do the turtle. Yeah, so the turtle. Um, okay. I would say let's work on the shell first. And, okay. Um, I would just kind of take a very um, thin, we can't do white because it uh, is white, but um, maybe just a very, very thin, like brown or black or even the red, and just draw out these sections. and. I would start with the edge because the edge just has those little tiny segment, 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 segment. Um, can you see what I'm saying? And it starts really tiny and then they get wider and then they just go up over his neck. So I'll show you how that's going to go. Okay, let's, I'm going to watch you. All right, I think I'm going to use this. <laughs> so right, take a brush numbers. that has a tip. Okay. If, it, oh. if you don't have a point, that one doesn't look good, Terry. Here, take take a nice small tip. I need all the help tip. I can get. Yeah. One, all right. Good. Let's and let's that. literally just, let's just draw in the, the segment. So just oh. go ahead and draw a skirt around him. And it, like, it comes across his neck, and then it comes down like that. Do I get a handicap for being left-handed? Are you left-handed? Oh, that's awesome. Hmm. I think lefties are very special. Wow. They're magical, like sea turtles. So I'm going to ask this question. Have either of you had your child come to you in a dream since they passed? Oh, that's a great question. Um, wow. Well, I, you have or haven't? I haven't. No? Came to Greg, made me mad. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. It's come to other people. But I don't know. You know, I think that you may just need to be... Um, open to that it's very it's very emotional and it, it, it's very painful like the times that that's happened or at least for me have you Megan yeah yeah and then did, does he leave well you know the time that he's only come to me in a dream one time and it was actually really it made me very peaceful yeah. he came we were having this long protracted conversation about how I needed to ship him furniture for where he was now, mm -hmm. and I needed to like get it to the, him. But he's like, "Look, UPS and, and these guys don't deliver here." <laughs> and, so and, and, and yeah, yes, and we, a, a we had this dream. totally long conversation about how I was going to get him stuff. And then at the end, he's like, "Mom, they don't even they don't even measure in what you understand. This is like an astral plane, and I can't even communicate with you." what you need, what, what the measurements would even be for the couch you want to send me, which is so typical. And so he's like, but I just want you to know I'm fine. And I'm surrounded by people I lo who love me. And that, and that was, oh. so it was really peaceful for me. Yeah. Um, and, cool. and it was pretty much at the, kind of right at the beginning. Like, I mean, he hasn't come back. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but did, did you all do, when, when your child passed, did you assign them something or, 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 cause one of the things that somebody told me is like, Think about something that was special to you and your child, and then every time you experience that, that's your child trying to 
just reassure you. Oh, like people have pennies and feathers. Yeah, uh, bird. Yeah, bird. Emily's bird. She okay. comes to me as bird. Okay, a there lot. you go. I mean, it was it's, it a particular kind of bird or just, no, uh, just any bird? I'll tell you what. It's birds doing what birds normally wouldn't be doing, and oh, it's wow. been very like it's almost like I hesitate to even talk about it because some of the, the the bird things are just like what? Okay, <laughs> so like what? <laughs> Um, she and I love to bird watch and okay. we, that was one of our homeschooling things that we did. And, um, so we like took pictures of the birds that were outside of our house and, um, we literally kept a log about, oh, like which wild bird, which birds right, came which to our finger right, and all sure. that stuff. And there was this one little tiny, do you know what a, um, an indigo bunting is? No, and as long as we're not going to paint it, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> so, oh, I do not know what an indigo bunting is. I would feel intimidated to try to paint an indigo bunting. But um, it, 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 it is in North America. It can come to a Tennessee wall uh, yard, but it's elusive and they're very shy and oh, wow. they're tiny. They're iridescent blue. I mean, they're like like oh, this cool. and they're shiny and they look like little finches. Okay. It looks just like a goldfinch except just so very, very unique. Very, very unique. unique, very shy. And we only saw it at our feeder once or twice and we wanted and tried to take pictures of it, never could right. get a picture of it because it, you know, the minute you even started to come near the door, it flew off. Oh wow. Um, so just not long at all after her passing, I, came into the kitchen and it, I was in my house by myself at that time. I came into the kitchen and there was an indigo bunting laying right in front of my refrigerator. It was dead. It looked like someone had taken a few of its feathers and just sprinkled them like in a pretty little, like, like a, almost oh, a design. Wow. And I'm real weird about touching anything that's dead. I don't want to throw your dead goldfish in the toilet, but yeah. I just scooped up that little bird Aww. and just looked at every single piece of it. I looked at all the windows to see if anything was open. It wasn't. Oh my gosh. I took, you know, I took pictures of it, but to this day, I honestly, I'm not sure where those pictures are. But, um, so that, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. For some reason, I felt very connected to Emily about it. I bet. I'm yeah. sure you did. I mean, because this how is something that you all. How did the bird get in here? I don't know. I right. don't know. I have no idea how right. the bird got in. And, no, and they, they wouldn't even and come up to a house. And you couldn't even answer the question. They right. wouldn't come up to a house. Um, that's one. I'll tell you the last one that happened. My sister and I were on a cruise in Greece. And she had paid the big bucks to get one of the rooms with the balcony and a. Um, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. You know, a, um, yeah, a balcony. So we had chairs out there. And I don't even remember why I was like laying out on that little um, balcony thing out in the middle of the ocean. And this little bird, I was laying, you know, laying right, in the right, sun. Right. And this little bird that I swear it looked like a, it looked like a Carolina wren. It was just this cute little brown bird. In the middle of the ocean flies not only up to our ship, but up to our balcony and just landed on the railing and then hop, like I'm laying here, well, laying in the sun and that bird landed on our railing and then hopped down and just literally like hopped right here and looked at me. And then it just flew away and I said, Susan, Susan, and she was able to come out to see it like flying in the air kind of beside right. our ship. Wow. We weren't even like close that, to land. That's pretty amazing. And I was just yeah. like, hey Emily, it's like I knew. Right. And, and these now everybody these thinks I'm crazy and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Well, okay, look, we're gonna help. Nothing. Yours looks amazing. That's I exactly love the way <laughs> I love the way that's looking. Me too. I know you talked a little bit about how you've got a little shake, but yeah. I for some but it it's looks great. cool. It looks cool. So keep going. I like that. Thank you for All right. You, so. Now we're gonna kind of fill in, and um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I'm not going to do all these details, but I am going to do some yellow and red in this shell instead wow. of just this, this darker color. Um, I think I'm going to make it look a little, a little funkier. 
may, maybe some of this. It's not so yellow, but, and uh, so I'm just going to start with that. A little here. Just, you know, we've got pictures of three turtles, so you can kind of pick which, um, oh, such strength in that one room. That's very sweet. Thank you for saying that. So, Terry, you were, talk you were starting to say that. Well, oh, well, Andrew had a thing about sunsets. He loved to photograph sunsets. So every day when there's a beautiful sunset, Greg and I always thank him for it. Oh, that's beautiful. Because I love that's that. And another thing was that I told I told Trisha this story about when I went, I was at this shopping mall and I'm walking into the store and it has sliding glass doors to get in mm -hmm. and there's this bright blue little bird sitting on the ground. I mean, he was iridescent. Right. And you knew exactly what kind of bird it was yeah. when I told you because I said, there's just this little bird and people are walking by it. <laughs> And I'm going, and you're just like, and I go, I go, it's a bird, and people are just looking yeah, at me like, like, right, it's a bird. I yeah, mean. yeah, what's your problem? <laughs> yeah. So I thought somebody was going to crush it or something. Oh my so gosh, I right. And I put my finger down under its chest and I climbed on my finger. <gasps> oh my and gosh. I took it over to these bushes and it landed on, and it went up on the bush and flew away. I, lo I, love, yeah. it. Oh, I love it. I love that story. But that must have been, that, that wasn't one of Andrew's birds, that was... That was Might have been Emily. Maybe it was, it was Emily. Emily. <laughs> That's why I was saying it was Emily's bird. One of Emily's. That's um, awesome. Today, you know, I was thinking about her so much. Sure. And I came home, and I was like, stop it, get out of here. The, um, I had asked my landlord last year, year before last, I can't remember, but I was just like, okay, Kenny, um... <laughs> several times, I can't remember what the birds are called, but I'm like, there's this big flock of an, these crazy birds that come and get in all these trees. Starlings. And it's just for a few, okay, the starlings, they, they migrate make a lot of noise, yeah. just for a few days. Right, the starlings. And they poop all over everything. Yeah, they sure do. Can you yep. please? And so I came home today and there's all, all the starlings. All the starlings were there. And I'm just like, Emily! No, I don't think funny. she was one of the starlings, but I just, I don't know, just every, a lot of bird stuff is I happening. love that, the birds. A lot of crazy stuff. No, but, but she has been very, um, like, I don't know, there's ways that she touches me or things that she does that are so blatant and so obvious that um, they can't be denied or ignored, and, and I don't. I don't talk about them a whole lot. Sure. They're, it's crazy stuff that you're just like, okay, nobody would believe that. Well, so. it, it, I know. It, I think if you've lost yeah. someone that you love, those those things can be incredibly comforting. Yeah. Oh, it's so and and and, and, so um, cool. and just just really touching and so I know that anytime I experience something like that with Max, I'm just grateful. You know, it's just what like, you said something about pennies. Do you have? A I don't have a pen. No, I don't have. Um, for us, it's rabbits. Um, Max was a really? love. Yeah, I know it's so funny. And literally, <laughs> when um, and butterflies. So when Max died, there was a rabbit. You know, we did, we were at the funeral, but a rabbit came and sat on our stoop. The entire time during the funeral. That is and then, so sweet. And so, I mean, it's just, so, I mean, it's those it's, it's kinds magical. of things. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's magical, right? So, oh you know, whatever gosh. you want to make yeah, that connection. And magical happens. And I, I yes, it does. Um, I agree. Yeah. And just, yeah. And th those kinds of things. And then Max said that some friends who were getting married that summer then passed away. And I got the sweetest letter from them after their wedding because they said that during the middle of their ceremony, they were getting ready to say their vows, and all of a sudden, this butterfly just came out of nowhere and just stood between them. Oh, and gosh. just and they said they just stopped the ceremony, and they said they knew it was Max. Oh, and I just thought that was that so, so sweet. sweet. But those are the kinds of things that yeah. just you know make your heart sing. Unlike my turtle. Okay, so. What well, are you doing to its face? I'm filling in okay. this face with a little tan, um, just a little light tan, and then I'm gonna add some details. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. um, um, 
one of my, I have sex. Yeah. It's 12 years, so I've got a lot of stories. But oh um, just one year, I don't know, it's probably about, I have no idea. It's somewhere around year four or five. I just like, I want some, I want some new boots and I want some cool boots and I want, I want there to be like some fringe on them. And, I, and, and, and like in my mind, uh -huh. I was like, oh, I kind of want some cowboy boots with fringe. I want a little bit of a heel, but I don't want too much of a heel. And I don't know. I just kind of was like um, thinking about boots, looking at boots, going online, looking at, you know, the different stores. We know a ton of options in Columbia, Tennessee, but, um, and I just, I, I don't know. Boots were on my mind. Right. Well, then just one day out of the blue, Dustin, who that same time was running his little flea market he called me and he goes hey i just need to, to warn you so about something i was like what and he goes i went to the storage unit today and um he said to put some stuff in there and he said and and i just needed to make some room and he said i found a box that says emily on it and i don't think you've ever looked through it oh wow and um, he said it just it says emily stuff and he was like so i'm gonna bring it home and i'm just gonna set it you know, in the doorway, and you can just look through it or deal with it whenever you're ready. I was like, thank you so much for warning me. I appreciate that. Sure. So, later on that afternoon, I went downstairs, and I saw the box, and in her hand room, in her handwriting, in her handwriting, it was like, mm -hmm. Emily Christus stuff, and um, she'd drawn some funny little face on it or something. She was, she was always just full of herself making fun little everything for Emily was just funny and fun and cute I love that. and so um I took the box upstairs and I was just like I, just, I can't look through this I'm just not ready and I, pr I probably had that box sitting in my bedroom for two weeks before one afternoon I was like you can do it you can do it and I opened right. the box and I am absolutely not kidding you guys the First thing on the top was these cool moccasin looking oh, oh, fringe boots with fringe oh. with a little bit of a heel. We wore the same size. Right, right. I wear them to this oh, I day. Love it. That's awesome. They're so badass. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so. That's cute. awesome. Mm -hmm. And I just was like, thank you, thanks, Emily. Thanks. Right, exactly. I can't, I couldn't believe it. And I, she must have bought them when she was in Indiana because I don't ever remember seeing them. Not funny. I'm going to. Okay, so now what are you doing to this little turtle? Your, now your I'm going to put. turtle shell looks awesome. I'm going to put where his Why eye is going to go. Yes, look okay, at I'm, Megan's I'm, I'm turtle <laughs> shell. is da bomb, baby. Da bomb, baby. Da bomb, look at that. looks that. super good. Yay! All right. Now what are we doing? Okay, an eye. Just, just put where his eye is going to go. Just, just put you a, a little dark half a, what is that, little almond shape for his eye. That's where it's going to go. And then, what color are we making his eyeball? Just the brown? Well, just put that black blob in there for his eye for now. And yeah, it could be brown or it could be black. Um, I'm going to go back for a second. I'm going to let my turtle kind of be drying and I'm going to add a little bit of details. Okay. Take a, um, a nice fine tip. Um, here, that's, this. is that one got a good tip yeah, on it? Yeah, that one's got a good tip. Okay. Are we making and a little gonna, fish? I'm going to take um, some gray. So mix some black and gray. Maybe a dark gray. And let's just add some details to these. So you're going to just draw a circle. A, a half a half circle at the top of those and look just kind of add some details they all look great uh -huh. yeah no they really we do. do we all look great yeah well the paint is too. yeah exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly oh my, oh my gosh i forgot to tell y'all um well terry he did he didn't know you but i know terry no, 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 I know, I'm not talking about you. Aunt Billy Walker, he said, uh, Megan Berry's gonna be your guest. I said, yes, she is, and he said, oh man, I get to watch two hot women instead of one this week. He's, he's like, he, he thinks we're hot. And Was he talking about uh, Terry and Megan? 
Here's some of me. Oh, oh. I'll keep oh. it some hot. You are. He's, he's married to my college oh, best friend. That's nice. Part versus black. I mean, okay. And I see some little white fish on mine. Maybe yeah, I'll try to put some white fish, some white fish in there. Yeah, fish in there. December 3rd and December 24th. Well, when Teresa Tracy Burton. Oh, comes, shout out to Teresa Tracy Burton. I'm going to paint with her. Oh, there you Whoa. Go. <laughs> or Macy, maybe Macy. You're, you're, so you, wow, you're selective. But, yeah. That's all. Okay, that's all right. We can get Macy back or Tracy. Megan Burton. wants to come back, maybe. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> I feel better about she that just now. Just got added to that list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. Mercy is right. Oh goodness. <laughs> it's almost so time for the fever segment. No, don't do that. What? Yeah. What's the snow pet? That is. A, that doesn't matter. You can't smell on the um, camera. <laughs> Is Beaver, is Beaver going to totally. paint? Beaver appears in every episode. He does? What does he yeah. do? Do you dress him up? Do you make him? No, he just looks at the camera like, why is she making me do this? Well, here, but I can do that. He's got Beaver fans. doesn't have to go on. I can do that face. <laughs> why is she making me do this? See, why now you're like, there you go. What did I decide to do? All I did was come to her exactly. bar to get a glass of wine. <laughs> Come on, Beaver. Beaver. Beaver's pretty adorable. Beaver. Beaver was quite yeah. sweet when I came in. Oh man, he's just the best. Where Come are you, Bee? Bee? Come on, Beaver. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Beaver. You're oh, you're adorable. Beaver the rescue dog. Here he is with his Hi, inside Beaver. out here. Don't look at me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Beaver She's going to paint me one day. <laughs> say hi to Hank and Boris. I did hi, not leave it on when I left, but you can say hi to them. Oh, I'll play I, it for them later. I saw that post of your oh, big oh dog not wanting to go in the rain. Hank and Boris on her page. Yeah. Beaver oh, yeah. hates me. Like, I'm, not, I'm not having any of this. I would, I would pay you to go <laughs> pee on the day. He just, just doesn't want to go out in the rain. Not, exactly. Period. No rain. Peeing on the pipe or on the edge of the deck. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Just by the planter. Didn't oh, even move. First. Yep. Didn't even move. Oh yeah. Good old Hank. All right. How old is Hank? He's going to be 13 in February. Oh, we got him as a, a wow. rescue, and Boris is also a rescue. He's about 10. Oh, what is Boris? Boris is a cross between a lab and a basset. So he has the basset body <laughs> and the lab coat. Oh, wow. Any, he anything that's a mix with a lab is just, that's Oh, my gosh. But he has the so, bark of the... The basset bark? Burr, 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 <laughs> you know, it's like all you hear all day. And, <coughs> and he is just, and he's mean. <laughs> I'm going to take a tiny bit of, like, um... Oops, <laughs> I meant to take brown and I just got it all in my white. Where's that darker brown? I need it. Ooh, look, look at that, Terry. I know, Terry, that looks awesome. Oh, I don't know. Well, we just told you. Thank you. That's so great. I'm gonna take just a little bit of brown and I'm gonna kind of draw in his little, um, the shape of his head okay. and his little. Did you do your See fish how they're little? Iron? My what? Fish. No, I turned them into a plant because they did not look like fish. fish. They didn't turn out right. It did not turn out like the fish, no. What are you doing with the brown now? I'm just drawing that little line um, where his little mouth goes. And um, I kind of flipped mine up as opposed to in the picture. It kind of always looks like they're browning, but mine's going to kind of be a smiling turtle. <laughs> oh, smiling turtle. Because <coughs> I'm painting it. 
And if I want him to be a smiley turtle. You can, that's right. I can. It's my prerogative. And then I'm going to mix some of the brown and the red together to do the spots on his head. And they kind of look pretty random. They do, and there, there's Spotted a little bit of red in them too. It looks like. Yeah. But let's see if I can get a. So it looks like oh like wow, that's beautiful. Look at how pretty. I know. Oh, look how pretty she's making that. So effortless. And uh -huh. they, <laughs> the little <laughs> spots, you know, just think of like almost like a little giraffe spots. There, oh, there's really not to, any. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. It's no just, rhyme or reason. No definition really. I bet. I bet. All turtles have different spots. Um, Megan, I used to paint murals in people's homes oh, and offices. Oh, did you? That's so I was awesome. In Columbia, and I've told this story so many times. So sorry for all my friends that have heard that many hear times. It. But I was painting a mural in this little boy's room, and it was a jungle mural, and um, there was like a leopard in the oh, tree. Oh, cool. Okay. Or a cougar. I don't know. It's a Something cougar. spotted. Michael, what has spots? Jaguars, cougars, cougars, leopards. Which one? Huh? What has spots? Cougars, leopards, jaguars? All of them. Okay. Well, anyway, so I was painting one of those. Uh -huh. I don't know which. Cause, um, but the little boy, he was like a homeschooled first grader. He comes in there and he's like, um... What what are you painting? And, uh, okay. And he, he goes, is that a jaguar or a leopard? And I was like, sure. You, you tell me. <laughs> right. And he said, well, jaguars have filled in spots and leopards Ooh. have hollow spots, and you've painted both. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so like, everybody's a critic. Get out of here. <laughs> Just go out. So I don't want to hear it. Oh my it. gosh. That's actually <laughs> <laughs> like, Maybe I need to do my research before. Well, you know, tell them it's fantastical. It's That's like it right. could be whatever you wanted. It was. I'm just going to outline his little mural. Angela Beaver was a sea turtle in a past life. I was a sea turtle in a past life. Hey, Teresa, I love you. Did you hear Michael, Teresa? He said that he will paint when you come to paint. So please look at whatever is between December 3rd and December 24th. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> That's our Cynthia. Oh, our Cynthia. Yeah. Oh, yeah she doesn't do shifts with us anymore. Oh, no. Not him. <laughs> Cause she's just she, she got she sells busy. furniture. She's doing her. Yeah. She she's sells mid-century modern. Yeah. Oh, is that her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I I um I'm I know I met her husband the other day. No, oh she, really? No. She didn't no know she's okay, then divorced. somebody who works with her um her then at mid-century modern. Uh -huh. they, it, yeah. What a great thing and fun to do to go out and find Fun furniture. Stuff, yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Wow, I wasn't really thinking about that turtles have like so many spots like giraffes. I didn't think they did either, <laughs> but now I'm looking at this one. Whoa, a lot of spotting going on. <clears throat> a nice little turtle. Look at your turtle, Megan! It's so <laughs> it looks so cute. I love it. So it's awesome. fun. I'm having fun, and that's I'm, what the whole point is, right? Uh, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I, I got a private text from my sister said, enjoying the paint party. They are great. <laughs> Thank you so that was much. That nice. My oldest sister. And where is she? She's in Brentwood. And nice. I, want all your, I want all your sisters to come sisters. paint with me. You do? I, got, I have three sisters. Our three sister is awesome. Yes. Our sisters are the best thing. I saw the post where you were going to see your sisters not long ago. Yeah, we just did a uh, weekend fun? in Denver. We had a blast. That's um, what y'all do? We, you know, one of the things we did, which I'm sure will thrill you, is we all got our hair blown out. We've never <laughs> done that before. Wow. It was so fun. 
That's uh, that cool. was, you know, we did a blowout thing. My, my it. sister had, had arranged it, and we all looked like poodles. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a blast. We had fun. That's so it fun. It was good. It was fun. Blowout. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. And are, are all your sisters older than you? or? I have one brother. Oh, gosh. Okay. Number three. He has wow. one sister that's younger but, than you. Know, I'm in touch with my family. So. I, love, yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Now, what are y'all doing for the holidays? Thanksgiving, Christmas, what are y'all doing? Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, we're here with my family, and Christmas, we're going to see Trisha's family in Colorado. Nice. Okay. So. What about you? Thanksgiving in New York to go see um, my husband's family. We're going to see my mother-in-law, and then... Christmas in Chicago with my, nice. one of my sisters and family. Yeah, my is mom. your husband got a big family? He doesn't. Have, um, he's got two brothers, and but his mom is still living, so we're gonna go have Thanksgiving with her. Which is your fun. mom still living? Yeah, yeah. She's crazy. How my old mom, is your mom? Um, my mom is seventy-five. Yes, mom. I just outed you. Wow, that's um, young. She's young. Yeah, yeah. she's she's good. But yeah. you were the oldest. So the oldest. see, the, the thing young. is, we're are, are you? You don't mind telling I'm, your I'm, age? I'm, we're, yeah, we're the same age. I'm 56. Okay, so I'm turning 57 today. Woo! Woo! Um, and, but I was the baby, and there right. was 17 years. Oh, between you and your my older sister? My oldest brother yep. okay, is 17 brother. years older than me. Wow. So my mom, so that's why I was like, I'm so jealous that your mom was so young. Yeah, she's, uh, and, my, and my dad's still living too. My dad's only 76. They're both. Yeah. And they're That's both healthy and lucky dog. we are lucky. We just moved my mom out of the house that she had been in for 50 years. And my youngest oh my sister, gosh. oh my gosh, it was so fun. My <laughs> youngest my sister, and sister I did. we had to, you know, go through everything. Because my mom would save stuff for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. And my youngest sister, we all went one weekend. And she, my mom gave us all our boxes that had her name on it. Had like, you know, high school yearbooks, all that stuff. <laughs> And my, my youngest sister, who I love, basically went over, got a garbage bag, took her box, dumped it in the garbage bag, tied it up, walked up to the street, and looked at my, oh my mom and gosh. said, I haven't looked at this stuff for 20 years. So Why I do I want it? Yeah, I want to look at it now. Yes. And she had the right idea. Wow. Because let me tell you, you just, I mean, you look at it once and then it's just like, yeah, I don't want this stuff. Yeah. Nobody wants this stuff. And, and, and nobody wants my stuff later either, right? So That's it's like, right. So. I just had that conversation. Um, I met the most lovely woman. I just, I did like this little indie film this oh, past fun. weekend. And I played the mama. And oh, the lady cool. that played my mama, she was telling me that she basically was a hoarder for many years. Oh, wow, seriously. Yeah, and then she got into a situation where she had to move out of the house that she was in because she was renting it, and, and it, something changed with the landlord and was like, yeah, we're going to sell the house, you got to oh get out gosh. of it. And <clears throat> she was just talking about how, um, you know, just getting rid of all that stuff was so emotional and everything. Yeah, but that totally. After you do it, and of course I did it when I moved up here from um, Columbia, it's like after you do it, you realize like, I don't care, and I didn't need that stuff. Right. And my kids don't want to go through all that. We had to go exactly. through all my mom's stuff. Exactly. Oh my gosh, it was right. so Nobody wants to go stuff. through the stuff. No. Well, one of the things I just did, which was really hard, but very freeing was I finally did just get rid of almost everything from when I was in the mayor's office and I just was like you know what I don't Urgent. I, I it's gone I had all I must have had four boxes of koozies <laughs> and chip clips and pins and all say you know, those. oh my gosh they're at Goodwill so if you need anything just run yourself over there at Goodwill <laughs> everybody be, run to Goodwill to get maybe some there'll be some berry. there'll be some koozies left <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was oh like, I gotta God. just, I can't have this stuff in my house anymore. Nobody wants it. That was funny. It was funny. That was it was, yeah, funny. just like, all right, y'all. proud of you for purging. It's time to purge. Time to oh, move on. Do it. Oh my goodness. And then it meant I could actually reclaim my office space. So in the last kind of week in my house, I now have my kind of office restored and I have a whiteboard in my office, you know, that has nothing on it. Whoa. But I'm just like, 
the possibilities, like the possibilities are so the fabulous. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. And now I can paint a mural on it. There you With go. With sea turtles. <laughs> yes. Now that you've got now this that I've got this now talent. that I've trained now you. that I've been trained now by a professional trained. by a total professional by, by a self-taught homeschool <laughs> professional. Hey, this is awesome. You know, Andrew, when we moved here from Mississippi, he, we moved here and he was starting middle school, and he was late, and it was his first year of middle school, and he said, you're going to homeschool me. He goes, oh, wow. I, can't, I can't go to school late and new. So we did that, and it was... I did not know this. Oh, it was, it was a horrible experience. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, like, for me, I thought... Oh, this will be so cool. We'll go to like Indian powwows. Right, 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 right. We'll, right. we'll travel. This, yeah, we'll do all this hippie kind of stuff. And <laughs> um, and so the first day we start, and he sits down. And he goes, "Where's your lesson plan?" And goes, <laughs> lesson plan. Lesson plan. What do you think? What do you I think it. I am, a teacher? <laughs> we, we struggled the whole year. Oh, oh wow. wow! But you did it. Yeah, I did it. And that's awesome. And then where did he go to school after that? He went to. Uh, Grassland Middle School. Okay, sure. That is a great That's an awesome story, story, Terry. I loved it. Wait, I was, our story was the opposite. So I was like, did all my research and I found all this awesome curriculum and I had all these plans and I was like, okay, here's y'all's assignments and everything. And then it just evolved into like me just realizing like, Oh, we're just all going to learn together and do oh, cool wow. stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's pretty it, it just, it, That's it, the way to do it. It man. was crazy because I had this idea that everybody was going to sit down at a table and, like, do their schoolwork, and it just, not, none of it that never happened. It happened at all. Will you invite Megan and Terry to the standard? Oh, I would love to. Aww. Hi, Farrah. Farrah, talking about bunnies, she and I have a bunny, a bunny connection. Thing. Yeah. Aww. Okay, you guys, um, I'm still adding details to my sea turtle painting, as well as Terry and Megan. Yes, We're but still I think I'm about done. Adding little details and whatnot. Um, and I'm going to just tell y'all what I'm going to do after this, <clears throat> probably tomorrow morning. I'm going to do something that maybe... <laughs> I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? I'm not you? looking at yours, honey. Excuse I'm looking at mine. Me? Okay, keep going. Are you thinking about having this put on display at the first? Or... Give me that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look how awesome. Uh -huh. Shit. Yeah, what are the tell you that one of the wonderful things it's I got to do Megan. when I was in office was I used to get to go to the first museum when we would showcase all the art from the, the kids. Look, look. And those kids are super talented. Yeah, I know. So, and I apparently needed every... How did this happen? I don't know, but it's happened to me. Too. How did this happen? How did I get pain everywhere? That's called being a kid. Okay, so what are you doing tomorrow? Because I want to know how, what, like... Oh my God, are you making a sun? Do we have to make a sun? No, I'm not. I'm just, I like this. I like oh, this little that up um, there. Oh, that, oh, yeah, I guess I never yeah. got up there. I never finished that part. Yeah, I have yes. no idea what time it is. Do you yeah, know? Um, I do. It's um, 9.04. Oh! So, <laughs> wow. So uh, I think we are officially done. We are officially we done. We are officially <laughs> done. I will take pictures of our awesome pictures. I hope you have enjoyed this time oh, with I me, have. Megan, this and Terry. Yes, it's been Aww. awesome. Thank and, you. Um, our pictures look amazing. I'll take pictures of them and post them tomorrow. This was what fun. I was going to tell Megan and Terry is I am going to turn this into a mixed media project and I'm going to incorporate some of Emily's ashes into the oh, wow. seafloor and I have saved like this box of dried flowers wow. just crumbles sure. like just all different colors and I'm gonna put that in there oh that'll be special use Mod Podge and just kind of like build up around that'll it be, oh, that's that really special. special um thank you for joining us this was a pretty hard painting and I am pretty uh this was fun I had fun this Painting that Megan Barry did. <laughs> there did you go. Check you. that out. I love your like shadow. I can get a painting out of anybody. You can. 
That is awesome. I love the shell. It's so beautiful. Yes. It's really cool. I was trying to copy yours. I'm you did great. so proud of y'all. All right, let me hit the Thanks. That was fun. I would, I would paint till midnight. Bye, everybody. Bye. I love you so much. Bye.